All right, so now <clears throat> let's go back. We're going to go back to, to drawing kind of straight lines, but let's assume that we want something that maybe goes back on on the on the the x z plane or the x y plane, and then goes up at an angle. It is not going vertical, but it's going at an angle uh, of like forty five degrees. And then we come back straight like that. So how would we be able to do that? Is that the same plane? No, nope, because now, um, and then we want to be able to, mm -hmm. we want to be able to go, yeah, let's say, because yeah, that can be done on, on the right side plane, right? And just come out. You still let's make it. it, and then this one's going to go down that way. 45 degrees. And then from wherever this point is, we're going to come this way parallel to that. So those two are parallel. So how would we go to that? Still use the tab, right? We could, we could, we could put it in and do it. I'm going to show you. So we could actually go in, draw it in dimension that angle, and everything. Um, let's, let's see a different way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in here and do a sketch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some working some some new work planes at those angles. Planes to find. Hold down out of the way. So now I'm going to go in, do my 3D sketch. Start a line here. Tab. Do that. So that's my my angle that way. So now I'm going to pick on this plane and go to line. And now look at my my axis. Now when I go there, I go up. I'm actually going up that angle. Oops. And I'm trying to need it to be. I can go back in, go back here, go on that angle, pick on this plane, line, and see if it'll go. This one is like I had a 50-50 shot of making it work earlier. Um, actually, more is like a 20% chance it would work. Um, actually, do you think it's because that? Maybe I'll just do that one and then dimension it, right? Let's see, that one worked. But I put on this plane, so it drew it parallel to that plane. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, I don't know what's making it work or not work. Um, I just don't know. But I could dimension it like that, right? That's a fine way to do it too. 
But if I have multiple things I want to be going in the same direction, if I pick on the plane and then the pick of the line, and I can get it in. So now I can pick on that line and go up that way. And see, that one worked too. So it's just sometimes it doesn't want to go. Um, so now I can come back in and put more fillets. I just need a, a profile out here, right? I can draw that. Draw my sketch. The plane through that point. Parallel to the front plane. I can go there. sketch and sweep it. Cool. So if I wanted things to go at different angles like that, I could do it that way, make it to planes, or even just dimensioning it while I'm drawing kind of on that plane. That probably that might be an easier way to do it, right? Just go in, instead of making all those planes to begin with. Go in, 3D sketch. Here, go back. Now on that plane, get the angle, switch it over here, angle down. Right? That gives me the same thing. And I just need to do some more dimensions. So this might be the easier way to do it rather than what the book says to do. So, there again, don't always go by what the book says. Think about how it could actually work better for you. Um, so that, that, work, that way it works too. Now I've got it doing all that same stuff, doing nice straight lines. The other option we have is with the spline. And one thing we can do is the icon here. We haven't shown you this before. But if I click on the, the Z right here, what it happens? It flips at me and makes me look right at that, that view. And it also turns me onto that plane. If right now I'm on the XY plane, right? Oh, wait, let me show you guys. If right now I'm on the XY plane, if I click on this X, it switches me over, it switches me to the YZ plane. If I click on the Y, Sweep it down and switch to the ZX. And then I can go back and rotate it back into my view. So if I start here, and I'm on the spline, so if I start picking the points looking straight down on it, you can see those points are all laying down flat. But as with when I'm doing that, if I start to switch my view, In the curve of that line, also. So now, if I look at it in the front, yeah. it should have been going up. It 
it is making me a liar. Maybe I wasn't changing it enough. But now you can see, so I changed the angle of it, of my view. I've made that thing kind of move out into, kind of into space. Then I can do this and kind of get a rough idea and come back, move these points around, so I can go to the side view, and adjust them up and down, work it back, to the top, push it in and out, to kind of make it fit within what I need. So if I'm routing wires or but if I'm doing something that has like electrical cable on it, it'd be a nice way to put, make draw the cord in where it's going to go or whatever. Um, you guys, does that have to be exact? If it's a cord that's just laying down somewhere, probably not. We might want it more exact if it's how they're going to route some wires in a conduit or something. Um, but then you, you really only care about the mounting points because in between mounting points, it's going to sway a little bit. So. How, how exact? So these might be your mounting points, where it's got where it's clipped in or zip tied, and then here, going up or down a little bit, as long as it's close, is usually okay. Can you constrain the length of it? The length of it? Yeah. I'm just thinking like say at a certain length. Oh, um, cool. Measure it to see the entire length. And actually, just by picking on it, down here is telling me the arc length. So if I want it to be 25 inches, I can just kind of bring that back. tubing or some conduit or whatever. Um, so you're going to route that through somehow. I was trying to think of a real world example, but didn't have time to draw 